Okay, so here's my image, my photo. I click on the text button at the top. I'm now going to enter my text. Happy Valentines. Now I click into the image. And there it's very small font. You can hardly see it, can you? So that used to form me when I first started playing with the uh, XN View MP, right? So I can it. So let's play with the font color. Not suggesting it's a terribly artistic choice, but it's red for Valentine's, I guess. I'm going to change the font for no particular reason, just to show you can. Go down to free size. So let's change it a little bit. I'm not very good on fonts. In any case, I'm going to cancel out so we go through that again. There, so. Now, when we go back in, I click on the, the T button. And this time I'm going to put the text onto a, a shape. And I click into the image, and then it will allow me to drag it. That's it. Because it's opacity 100, it's, you can't see it. You can't see the, the background image is what I want. Oops, the text is now too big, the font's too big. Let's bash that back to 150. You can just play with it. And I can still drag the text. I'm just going to play with italics. You can see it dynamically changes it. And I just clicked OK. When, when I click OK, I, I put it into the, the image. I can still undo, of course. That's finished. Thanks.